Hey guys, welcome back to the channel today, where we are playing some more Jurassic World Evolution 2. I hope you're having a great day today. Um, yeah, how are you guys? Today's episode is going to be fo focused around the the flying dinosaurs, so namely, like, you know, the, uh, the Dimorphodons, the Pteranodons, and all the other flying dinosaurs that we get to have. We've just literally um, finished researching the Avery's got to rest all our staff so we'll do that now take that off times free speed and now we can start placing Avery's down so that is good what I have learned about the Avery's look guys look you can place more than look that's just awesome isn't it I just think that's fantastic that you can just place Avery's down um I don't know how long these are gonna take. Uh let me definitely speed that up. Here we go. Oh wait, um there. Avery hatchery. Drop it there. It's got no power at the moment. As I said in the last episode, guys, don't watch how I play how I place paths on here, please. Right, scientists is uh ready on this end. We can send out expeditions for remote capture. These creatures can cover a lot of ground for right, I need air, a um so we should snap to it. All right, let's fly what the is it? this a response guys. facility let's just quickly drop one of these down one can i do it where i don't need to yes i can oh urgent message <gasps> instant alert local authorities have captured flying reptiles near oakland we need to send a live capture team to collect them asap and house them properly at our facility here let's go to that instant All right what is it and it's pteranodons five of them Start the task. We'll leave that on the time three. It's snowing. Oh. We'll then I can't believe it's snowing. And by release, you mean contain? Well, you need yes. this some like you know jingle bells now you know like. Well, I'm joking. Excellent. We should be on yes. The Anyways, guys, I've been looking at the analytics on some of my videos. And about roughly 80% of you that click on my videos aren't subscribed. So do yourselves a favour. Click the subscribe button. Come and join the best community on YouTube at this precise point. There we are. We've got five Pteranodons going in there now. Uh, we can drop the ranger station there. Fast forward it so the Pteranodons get in there quicker. Oh, look at them. They look fantastic, don't they? That's one in. Oh, and we got a trophy. Life finds a way. Famous words of Ian Malcolm. Oh, flapped. That's two trophies within 30 seconds of each other. Oh, he's lonely, bless him. So they've got enough open space. Right, so rock. Right, I can actually get myself in here to do this. So if I do this, that terrain. Right, so we'll do that. Fish. Fish there. And then rock. I'll just do this. Yeah. Rock. Look at that. Alright, uh, who can the Pteranodons... They have no likes and no dislikes. Okay. Oh, come on. Hurry up and drop them all in, will ya? Don't fling them around like that. Jesus. Oh, they're in. Looks like we might be getting things under control. 
Yes, we are. Famous last words. But given the number of times that I could have used this very phrase over the years, I'm going to go with... How are you guys doing anyways? Let me know in the comments. Let me know how your day's been. What you've been up to. Are you looking forward to Christmas? Because Christmas is right around the corner. Same thing as always. The dinosaurs. And let me know what you've asked Sesame Father. Let me know what you've asked Father Christmas for Christmas. When it it's good what you open, he brings you, Doctor Malcolm. <laughs> ah, Doctor Dua, you're now increasing the uh, so-called intelligence part of it. Here he is, Doctor Ian Malcolm. To, uh, understand correctly. Ah, right. So we need a viewing gallery now. Yes. Yeah. Avery viewing gallery. And sometimes more than we should. Interesting times. I can drop one there. As the dinosaurs and what we'll do is we'll sort of path should they be around no. this way are they yes ergo they should there we go that's a viewing gallery constructed chaos. fast forward to finish that it's what else remains hidden that's concerning me at the moment doctor oh yes indeed yes yes and that's why i've brought somebody with me See that? to help shed some light in this regard always make sure Isaac that you got Dunn. that you got enough room yeah, because sometimes of the what you think you may have enough room you, you actually don't these dinosaurs require wait can we put some decorations it. down stay on top of environment it. terrain can we put anything down for them no we hey, can't i'm isaac Quimmin. Dr. Malcolm oh, we got Isaac back. We right, I'm actually going to build an emergency shelter this time. A ranger team Just to gather information and monitor the animals within the aviary. A viewing Just in case. Also on our list. So now it's on yours. <laughs> Fast forward it so we get the Tyrannodon mission out the way. Hey, cool. Next one I'll have built over here. When you think it makes me nervous. I don't no, know what's no, next, anyways. Do we have anything here? Flyers. Uh, no, not yet. Okay. I'm not following I'll you. wait for the next Dr. batch. Malcolm starts contacting Dr. Dua from who knows where when these flying reptiles become an issue. Right, there we what? go. That's that, that's that mission done. They introduce a unique yeah, danger. check the expedition map and for more alerts. He's concerned. Yeah, Here we go. Uh, Tyrannodons. Drop them there for this. Dimorphodons. We'll get the we'll get the dimorphodons out of the way. Data we can use. And then what we can do is, uh, here we go. We we'll place one Avery there, one Avery there, one Avery there, one there, and one there. I think, I think that's how big they will need it. Yeah, you were right, Doctor Malcolm. Uh, it's it's sort of my thing. The facility is functioning as anticipated. We have enough assets in the pipeline that we should be able to move forward soon. Right now we're putting there. out brush fires, but this this is an inferno that could engulf the world. In the Avery viewing gallery. Noted. For now, I suggest we focus on this location. About there. It's about high welfare and visibility for the animals. And safety I'll have to keep this on times free course. speed. Learning to coexist with the dinosaurs is a process. We're getting there. And if we don't, where's that leave us? This is where the we Dimorphodon... The Dimorphodons are going to go in here anyways, if I remember correctly. Forest, water, and then obviously another Precisive Feeder. Honestly, I'm not sure who uh, deserves to win. I can get the water down now, actually. Get down about terrain. If we want to find success, we must look to the sky. That means more flyers and more species of flyers in the aviaries. Flap, not flap. feeder huh? here. Huh? Huh? <laughs> that, that might, that may be enough water. Water. Maybe enough. Right, we've got six dimorphodons now. Oh, we only caught five. One, two, three, four, five. Leave it on times three so they get in there quicker. Matey's going to have to come back anyways. Then what I'll do is I'll build the other one uh, as soon as I've sorted them out. Get this done as quick as possible. I yeah, I think the Dimorphodons like forest. What's got no power? Oh, have you run out of fuel? Of course you have. Oh, and we've run out of money. 
but why doesn't that surprise me? Right. Oh, they're just missing sand. That's fine. I can sort that out now. Are you ready? Let watch this. Sand. There we go. Perfect. Asset transported. We need some more nares to go up because that is going to run out of power. Well, we're out of money now. Wait, can the Dimorphodons live with anyone? No. So they're all going to need their own separate aviaries. Which is fine. We'll build the other aviaries around here. Like around, the, around this gap here. We can do that. What about to say? Right, how much are these aviaries anyways? Um... Are there only 100k? So we've got one, two, three, four. Uh, I think five will be enough. And we'll put the Avery thing in there. Well, obviously, we're going to need the viewing gallery, which we can place right here. Then we can connect the path from there to there and go on the expedition for Trophy for, uh, Trophy f Trophy Nephus. I think I've pronounced it right. Please don't butcher me in the comments if I've pronounced it wrong. Please. Then we'll, uh, then we'll get the Rangers back on there. Yeah, anyways, guys, let me know in the comments down below if you are enjoying this game, have you finished the game, if, you've, if you're playing it on Xbox, have you unlocked all the achievements, if you're playing it on Stick, if you're playing it even if you're playing it on the PC, have you unlocked everything, and obviously on PlayStation, which I'm playing on, let me know if you've got that Platinum Trophy, because that is what I'm aiming for, and I'm taking you guys along that journey with me. This series won't stop until you see that plat Platinum Trophy in the top right corner. As soon as we got it, guys. As soon as we got it. It'll be amazing. Right, we've almost... Almost. There we go. Here's our Trophy for Nephilus. I'm really sorry I can't pronounce their name properly. Please do not butcher me in the comments. Need to hover around a bit as well. I'll I'll leave, I'll leave them for a bit actually. I need a good I need a good thumbnail. I need a good thumbnail. Right, can we slow down? Oh look at this. Look at this. That's a perfect thumbnail there, isn't it? That is a superb thumbnail. There we go. I can snapshot that. That's what are you missing? Let me Can I come back? Gimme you. Right, you are... Right, open space, 100. You're missing forest, water, and fish. Right, okay. Let's look, we can drop forest there. Oh, wow, look, forest, done, immediately. And then, obviously, water. Drop and drop. Right there. And we put the fish feeder. There. There we go. That's their comfort. So um, a minute thirty for all their comforts. Confirming asset delivery. Whoops! I don't want to nickname him. So that hundred percent, hundred percent. Who's not hundred percent? I know. There we go. Time is going down now, folks. Is it going down? Yeah, it is going down. We have 20 seconds left. Whoops. 
Come on, do it faster. You can actually get through the campaign. You can actually get through these missions so quick with how like how much you can fast forward it out and all that. This is why this is probably going to be everyone's favorite mission of them all. Because, well, as you can see, look how quick you can get it done. Even contrived, planned, and managed beauty has its charms. But what appeals to the senses is the asymmetry of nature. Its rough edges, its mistakes, a tree that is both out of place and exactly where it needs to be. Much like the dinosaurs. Excuse me, Dr. Malcolm. There are reports of a large herd of subject animals roaming freely in Yosemite. To my point, chaos, don't you just love it? <clears throat> Yosemite, over 1,000 square miles in size. It is home to one of the oldest plant species on Earth, the giant sequoia which have been growing in this part of California for over 60 million years. That could be our connection. And what's drawing the dinosaurs here? The sequoias are familiar, part of their genetic memory. And this land could be a perfect fit for the dinosaurs. But there's absolutely nothing here though, right? Yeah, see that nothing. Horse is already out of the barn. That's a saying, by the way. There's no horse and no barn. What Owen means is that things are already in motion. We have dinosaurs that we'll need to capture and facilities that need to be built. Uh, but not actual barns. Look at this. Barns, no. Expedition center. Can you imagine if this was an actual island facility. to get yes. five stars on? How could you get five? Could you easily get five stars on that? Let me know in the comments down below. But, ladies and gentlemen, on that note we are gonna end off this episode here it was a blast it was a bit of a quick one obviously because it was just you know the flying type dinosaurs but other than that guys if you did and girls if you did enjoy today's video then subscribe if you are new around here smash that like button to help out with the youtube algorithm and as always, keep smiling, stay positive, and peace.